In this training video, we're going to look at modifying the task task links and task order. So in this example, we've now got two tasks that have ordered down the bottom. So for example, we've got HR induction and inform applicant, whereby it should be the other way around. So it should be of a HR induction after you've informed the applicant. So we need to move these around. But there's different ways of modifying and changing orders of tasks. Now I tend to, when I'm changing the order of tasks, I tend to work in what's called isolation. So I'm going to isolate task 13, 14, 15 from the rest of the project and I'm going to break the link. So I'm going to separate these three and I've unlinked them. Now I'm going to move by dragging task 15 above task 14. So I've now got the inform applicant above HR induction. And I'm just going to highlight the same three again to rejoin them to the actual project. So when I've done this, we'll see the original duration, 62 days, and everything's in the right order. And there we go. So 62 days, everything's in the right order, and we haven't changed any of the duration. Now, what I'm going to do in this example, I'm going to add a task into an area that's been what I call grouped together. Microsoft calls this indenting, so everything's under the advertising heading. So there's three tasks under advertising. Now this gets trickier when we do this kind of thing. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to break the link from task six and seven. So I'm going to isolate that area. And I'm now going to isolate two and three. So I can just work on the grouped area. So I'm going to break that link. Now I'm going to work on the group. Now what I want to do is add a new task after plan advertising to this area. Now to do this, I'm going to actually highlight the three tasks and outdent it. It's the green arrow to the left. Right, now I'll start working on inserting a task. So I'm now going to... And I can see one more link which is still in play, which I need to get rid of quickly, which is the advertising to the, to the milestone advertising role. So I'll just get rid of that link as well. So I will double click the advertising role. And I'll say, I just want to get rid of that link for now. Okay. So a bit of work I need to do after this. So here we go. So after plan advertising, I'm going to insert a, insert a task. So I can right click insert. I'm going to call that task arrange promotional event. Okay, and that's going to be a two-day task. Okay, now I'm going to start to put, put things back together. So the first thing I'm going to do is the grouping. So I want that all under advertising. And I'm going to group them with the indent. Okay, that's that done. Now I've got them all... Finish the start so we can see them joining together. I'm now going to join two and three. And I'm going to rejoin them. And I'm going to rejoin going to rejoin seven, eight together. So it was 62 days plus the two days for the promotional advertising event. So arrange the promotional advertising event. That's now taken another two days. So 62 plus four. So I know that's correct. 
so we can quickly see how we can work this together and it's it's quite tricky when you need to change orders around and change change ways of linking together and ungrouping and put it, put it back together like a jigsaw puzzle so what i suggest people do is save their project as a practice project when they're doing this to make sure they don't affect the live project and then have a go at practicing this kind of idea but it can be quite tricky in this example also we're going to say that the design job packs and the arranged promotional event can happen at the same time so that can be a start to start so in effect the one now is three days the one is two days but they're now after one another so really i should save three days I should save no, not three days. I should save some days on the actual total. So I will now see them both coming back to start to start, and we'll see a difference in the total duration from a start to start link. So I'm going to double click task six. I'm going to change it to start to start, and we're going to make a note of the duration, which at present is 64. Start to start with arrange promotional event and then okay so it's brought it back and saved two days because two of the days can start at the same time and the third day then is extra so that's why it's only saved two days and, and hasn't saved three days so we can now see the effect of modifying links to tasks and changing order in a project when you've set it up so yes not straightforward but it comes easier with practice but one, one thing i would say is if you are doing this kind of thing save it to a practice project first make sure it looks right and then update the live project but this completes modifying links and changing order of tasks and then resetting links if you enjoyed this video Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.